Hello, welcome back to Auto Pop Culture. Today we're going over the HBO Max original series called The Flight Attendant. So this this show is really, really nice. I really loved it. I thought it was really just just suspenseful to the max. Like I there's a lot of pieces that just I could not figure out what was going to happen next. So it's a really good series. Um, let me break down the plot. So a reckless uh, flight attendant with an alcohol alcoholism problem wakes up in a wrong hotel in a wrong bed with a dead man and no idea what happened. When a when questioned by FBI agents and still unable to piece the night together, she begins to wonder if she could be the mur the killer. So this is the lead. Um, Actor in this whole thing is, uh, I hope I pronounce this right, uh, uh, Kaylee Ku Kuoko, Kuoko, who's playing, uh, Cassie Bald, uh, Baldwin, who's this flight attendant. So, in this, sh in this whole thing, I'm not gonna spoil anything as much as I, I'll try my best not to spoil anything. Um, because I think this movie, this show is very, e is one of those ones you get to go in blind, and if not going blind, with some type of, like, setup of what it's about. But other than that, like, I cannot, I do not want to say anything, because I really think it's really, the whole, the plot twists and the suspenseful, like, places are meant to just, you, I really want to see how people react on their own towards it. But I will give you some clues and try to convince you to show you, like, directions of why it's such a good um, show. So, let's start by saying, first of all, the one of the big things I really like about the show is that it talks about alcoholism and guilt in a great, great way, as well as well as child abuse of what it actually is. And I think that in the al the the um why can I think of the word um the alcohol does this is the word the alcoholic is Cassie, so she pretty much is this flying to and she's she's like a functioning alcoholic in a way, but not. But definitely spinning out of her, like, running out of, like, space to be cute about it. And a lot of people around her, when we go into the, uh, show, we're in the middle of people just, like, on the, or actually, on the end, tail, tail end of people kind of, like, giving her the patience, but not, but on the tail end of not giving a shit about her anymore. And so, and we have that with the, um, with her brother, Dave, or uh, Davey, who's played by, uh, T.R., Knight, who's been in Grey's Anatomy, um, sh uh, he pretty much just is very supportive of her, but because of the history of him, of her being an alcoholic, and really not, like, wanting, not really getting so close to his family, with his boyfriend and his kids, I think he has kids, I feel like he has kids, yes, he has kids, um, to the idea, so, and she's, like, bailing on them multiple times, with, like, visiting them, or seeing her nephew, or her nephew and nieces, like, just so many things are happening where he's just completely being let down by her, and it's just, just seeing that whole space of him, like, wanting so bad to be there for her, because she's, he's the brother, so he wants to be there in that type of sense, but knowing that this, the alcoholism and everything that's going around that her space with that, is preventing her from having a full-on stable relationship with her. And you see that in the multiple other people too, including her best friend who's played by uh, Rosie Perez, named Megan. Rosie Perez is amazing. I'm so glad that one, that she's getting her rounds, she's making her rounds in all these like shows. Um, I love it. She does a great job in a lot of things. Um, she did a great job in Birds of Prey. I think it was a perfect, perfect role for her. Um, especially with her accent, too, or her, like, kind of New York accent, it was perfect. Um, so yeah, so they had, so they had her, who's, like, who's, she's a self-acclaimed, self-claimed best friend towards Cassie. Cassie doesn't see it the same way, but they do seem to lean on each other a lot, and even she's on her wits end about, like, kind of giving her the, the reason, reason of doubt, like, reason of, like, like, just give her any type of, like, oh, it's excuses or whatever. It just gives her any of this. She's like, oh, she's just, she's just really, like, create, she's really just trying to figure herself out and everything. But you start seeing with her, too, just, like, she's getting, she's over this bullshit. And every time that Cassie gets close to, like, doing stuff, um, whenever she's trying to solve this murder, 
that's going on of her, like, waking up to her man friend, like, pretty much is dead. She pretty, she see her going through a space where just, like, she has a breakdown or she has anything that has to do with alcohol. She's just drinking. She's drinking in the morning. She's drinking at night. She's drinking, like, every single moment you see her. And she has no fucks about who's watching her drink. Of course, there's certain ones that she has a nerve, has, is very nervous with, which is, um... Um, Annie, which is her best friend, which is played by, hopefully I pronounce this right, um, Oza, o Oz Ozia, um, Ma Mamet, she's in, go um, Girls, oh, and Tells the City, which is, I still haven't finished, for some fucking reason, um, so yeah, so she's, like, her, she's, she's actually her best friend, and slash her attorney in some way, her lawyer, and, cause she's a really good lawyer, but she is just pulling, just, just trying her best to, like, pull some strings, trying to figure her out, uh, or figure out, uh, Cassie out and everything is really, really, really interesting. I think it's really great. Um, another thing is that she, uh, Annie has a best friend, or has a, a friend with benefits slash, like, she doesn't want to claim it as a, her, him as a boyfriend, but she has a boyfriend named Max, who I thought was super, super, super cute, and you'll see why when you watch it. He's really high tech, he's really, really nice, he's completely clueless about everything, but he's willing to help um, Cassie, which made me think that maybe he was the killer of ev that, that killed his, her, um, well, met her man friend that she met in Bangkok, I think it was. Um, so yeah, but I really loved him, I thought he was great, and also Cassie, whether you think she is a killer or not, I will not tell you because it's a little complicated, but it's, she, you also start seeing other people that may be associated, if she's not the killer, then who else is the killer? And you see Max, who comes in, and he's like, I'm high tech, and I'm also this, I'm also your best friend's, like, boyfriend in a way, but I know a lot about stuff, and I really want to hack into everything, I want to help you with this case too, just without any question. And then you have another guy who goes by Buckley, um, who I think is just fucking hot. Um, he, it's just silly, and he wants to get with her, and be with her, and go, and be part, even be part of this, like, drinking phase of her, where she just feels like she needs to drink every time, and she's complete hot mess, he does it with her, and it's just a complete hot mess, and he's completely following her around, to the point where, um, Annie calls him, calls him, um, Cassie's puppy, he's like, oh, is that your puppy, where's your puppy, where's your puppy, you know, kind of thing, and like, oh, there goes your puppy, because it's so true. He's like, everything that she's doing, even the bad stuff, he wants to be involved. So it made me think, like, is he the killer? Like, because why is he so, why are these two men so interested in this case? One with this case, and one completely down to do all these destructive things, like breaking off a, um, I don't even know if these are actually officially called, but the little rise that the kids sit on in front of, like, the stores, um, that just go like this. Um, they, like, rip it right off in the middle of their drunken stumper, and just, people are just like, what the fuck? And he throw, and they think they throw it at a car? And it's just complete, just, just complete nonsense, and it's just, but it's great, because you also see the breakdown of everything about what's going on with her. Um, a couple other pieces I want to talk about is that... I love seeing Jason Jones as Cassie's dad, so we get to understand why um, Cassie is the way she is, because her dad was also an alcoholic, but a very, 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 cannot function at all alcoholic, and kind of pushed her into it, too, as a kid, and so they had a great relationship, but it was more of like he had a drinking buddy, and so you get to see that type of child abuse, where you don't, maybe to her it doesn't seem like child abuse, maybe... Maybe to him it's not child abuse, but to outside it's pretty much is because you're telling your child it's okay, you only reason to be cool to be accepted to your dad is to drink and drinking as a kid is not a great idea, you know, at all. Um, and then I also like to con even more convincing is that they have this weird kind of like Ocean's Eleven kind of cutaways as well as like moving to the next scene or if she's like if Cassie's like thinking about something about another step of the murder mystery like. There's a weird kind of, they do like a little split screen kind of thing where she's here and she's doing something over here and there's another, there's a woman coming after her on this, on this screen cut kind of thing, which is the woman is played by Michelle Gomez, which is 
I love, I officially love Michelle, Michelle Gomez. If you don't know who she is, she's literally the, she's been in Doctor Who, which I don't know who she is in that one, but she's been, um, Miss, Mrs. Crimp, Cripples, Cripples, but she also played Lit Lilith inside, um, Chilling's Adventures of Sabrina. She fucking kills it with her fucking beautiful mane hair, like long hair mane. Uh, she's just, she's just flawless. I can't, I cannot understand, I cannot take her flawlessness. It's just amazing. Um, but yeah, I really, really like this movie, a show. It's really, really good. It's worth getting into. I know I kind of went on about with a lot of random stuff about this, but it's so good. I give this a 9 out of 10. Oh, actually, I do have a 5. A 4 out of 10. Um, please leave a comment below. Tell me what you thought about it. If you have seen it, let me know. If you haven't seen it, please, 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 please get into it. It's really, really fun. It's really suspenseful. It's, it's a little hard if you have an alcohol kind of issue or any trauma with alcoholism, like, be warned, there's some pieces to it that make you very frustrated. It definitely did with me, but it's so worth it to see the whole arcing of how everything fits and everything works out. Um, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you thought about it. Uh, if you like this video, hit a like button, and hit the subscribe button too, and also hit the notification buttons button so you get more of my videos, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.